Hello guys, and thanks for joining me on the next stage of my quest to find out, can a book teach me how to run? You see, I speak English well. I learn it from a book. So, the next section of the uh, Running Revolution book uh, tells us how to choose and use the right shoe. Um, so, of course, we've done all this work on perception, so we're feeling the ground, feeling where the weight is on our forefoot, heel, or somewhere in between. Um, we've got used to, you know, accepting that feedback and learning how to feel what's going on under our feet. So, of course, choice of shoe is going to be a very important component of making sure that we can carry that through to when we're actually out running. So, Dr. Romanoff has quite a few views on what type of shoe you should and shouldn't use, which we'll go into. So, I'm going to quote a few bits from the book and um, from the section choosing and using the right shoe or none at all. <laughs> um, and what it says here is if you're wearing heavily cushioned shoes with thick, inflexible soles, you will not be able to run according to nature's blueprint and your chances of injury will increase. Constrained feet or weak feet? The major running shoe companies have been engaged in decades long technology war over the latest and greatest in alleged performance enhancing features. These shoes feel comfy on your feet, just like comfort food tastes good. But all the Padding, stiff support and motion control make them like a cast. Something you would wear if you were injured, but not a smart choice for a healthy foot. In fact, this design will turn a healthy foot into a weak, poorly functioning foot. They even have top secret labs where new gimmicks are developed and market tested for optimum revenue increase, regardless of what is truly good for the runner something to think about so yeah we don't have to accept that this is 100% true but clearly the author has very strong opinions on the matter and as a way of um, convincing ourselves uh, that the author's views uh, resonate as true he has us to do a bit of a test which I've not carried out yet but I shall do um, he asks you to put on your favorite running shoes Added variety um, under the runner profile section of your journal describe how those running shoes feel on your feet how's your mobility with the shoes on as compared with your mobility barefoot when you press your feet against the ground can you feel the points of contact or is the pressure uniform across the soles of your feet so we ask you to make notes on this and what it appears to be suggesting there is that when you barefoot or with minimal foot coverings then you've got more idea of where the weight is where the pressure is and what's going on under your feet than with a padded shoe where everything's just going to be spread out you're going to be sinking into a, a cushion um, and just basically not be able to tell what's going on beneath your feet so we're told that the right running shoe is flat thin and flexible so that's the criteria we are supposed to go with. Okay, so I already have the shoes that I'll be using um, while I learn this method of running, the pose method. Got the uh, slightly dirty at the moment, despite having just been washed. The Vivo Barefoot, Primus Trail Firm Ground, that's FG2s. And uh, yeah, I've been using these for walking recently getting used to them uh, I've done you know walks over two hours in them with no trouble um, the grip underneath is designed for firm ground so um, they're not amazing in the mud but I've never had a pair of running shoes that have been amazing in the mud so that's no change really so you may have seen videos before possibly on YouTube where people are showing you their barefoot running shoes um, you've probably seen lots of them I don't need to go into too much detail about them um, suffice to say that it fits the criteria um, it's just got a flat thin sole and it's flexible I'm not gonna do the thing that everybody does 
every single barefoot shoe video where they prove to you that it is flexible. You know, they bend it, roll it up, screw it up, just to show you that this, this is a thin, flexible sole. We all know it is, however tempting it might be to want to bend it in half. You know, you might be willing me just to demonstrate it, um, just to prove that it is actually a Vivo barefoot shoe and it can be rolled up and scrunched up and all those things that a barefoot shoe should do. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist the temptation however much I want to bend it, squish it and show you that it can actually be rolled up like all barefoot shoes can do. I'm not going to be proving anything there. I can resist. I don't need... Okay, okay, just one little scrunch. One scrunch, that's all I'm doing. Let's see if I can just get this. There we go. Satisfied? 